Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you Taurus. What is going on for the Taurus? So it's like... Maybe an awakening. Maybe awakening to the fact that somebody needs to grow up. Could be you. You have ten of swords. Somebody needs to let something go. It's over. It's done with. Maybe that way of, of living, that lifestyle is over. I mean, you can stay in it, but it's pretty much done. You've done everything. It's time to do something different. Um, don't be overly dramatic. Don't be... Um, yeah. Okay. So don't be overly dramatic. And also, some relationship could be over. Something that was devastating. Something is devastating. There could have been something that came into your life like unexpectedly. And it was, you know, heartbreaking. It was unexpected. Some of you could still be in a grieving process. Okay. Um, maybe about a soulmate, a loved one. You lost someone. King of Cups. They could be a spirit guide around you right now. Um, this is someone that you love deeply. Okay. Uh, they could still be around you. Now, for some of you, a relationship is over. Somebody wants the relationship back. Someone wants to be in the relationship again but there's somebody else here too uh, or somebody has someone else or somebody has a lot of someone else's maybe you found out about that there's a, a, a lot of um thinking overthinking either from you or someone else you know somebody's deep in their emotions about this connection about this relationship you could be dealing with a gemini cancer pisces scorpio anybody here but um it just looks like somebody is stuck. Uh, either you're stuck on them or they're stuck on you. Um, it could be you stuck or, yeah, maybe hiding your feelings with the Seven of Swords here. Or maybe you were the deceptive one or maybe you're f fearful. Maybe you really want to be, you know, alone, the lone wolf out of fear, you know, out of a, uh, a mindset of fear and scarcity. You don't want to be in a relationship because you fear it falling apart or you failing or you not showing up for the connection here or you you messing it up you know you sabotaging this so you come off with this deceptive um, behavior or this this deceptive nature like you really don't want a connection when you really do yes yeah, seven of pentacles so it's it's like um, maybe you and somebody are separated right now. You just accepted the fact that you're separated. For some of you, are still pining over somebody, still wanting them, still thinking about them. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, um, you've accepted the fact that you're not going to reconcile right now. You could reconcile in the spring, late spring, summertime. Yeah, somebody really wants this connection. They really want to start this relationship. It's either you or the other person. Someone could be giving birth. Also, someone could be pregnant right now. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Eight of Cups. So there's a lot of love and likeness between you and someone else, okay? There's a lot of feelings, but there's a lot of unexpressed feelings. It's you either trying to stay balanced in your feelings, you know, picking and choosing what you'll show this person, and then the other person trying to stay closed off and not too, um, too giving or too open because they're not sure where you stand. So it's like somebody walked away from a connection because just b being unsure, unclear. You know, there there wasn't, you know, clarity in how you feel and it wasn't clarity in how the other person felt. It was like somebody wanted to play hardball or um, somebody just couldn't, you know, express themselves. Just being too tough for no reason at all. A lack of vulnerability. Let's see. 
Yeah, and March could be significant uh, for the two of you. Yeah, there's like weeks of no communication because somebody just says anything. They're live wire. Uh, I knew it was going to come out. You need to come out of fear. Somebody fears being in a relationship because they know that they mess up relationships. And they have to appear strong. Listen, didn't I say it? Being strong and being tough for no reason. Somebody's a fast thinker, you know, um, but somebody's irrational, you know, or has irrational behavior. Someone could be pregnant, maternity coming out. Someone bothered by the fact that they love this person so much, but it's unexpressed love, either from the masculine energy to the feminine or vice versa. But somebody feels like the masculine energy is their security, right? Um, is their um, safe place. It's just like, it just seems like a lot of games and a lot of lying to yourself. Did we have the moon card? Sure, we did. And it talks about lying to yourself and lying to others. So it's like you're lying to yourself about not wanting a relationship, but you really do. Um, not wanting this person, but you really want them. Um, it's just a lot of game playing. And firstly, it's a lot of game playing with you, with your own self. So it's like you just got to be honest with, well, honest just came out. You'll be honest with yourself and then um, you can move forward. Let's see. What do the cards want to tell? Yeah, you got to be clear, okay? Uh, be clear because it's like uh, mixed signals. Yeah, mixed signals here. Um, somebody feels like they don't want to settle down or be in a relationship because it costs too much. Now, this could be money, but someone's saying it costs too much in terms of love, devotion, uh, security. Um, somebody wants to maybe come out of gay, lesbian, bisexual behavior or, yeah. They want to, somebody wants to make a more rational, what they feel is rational choice. Or someone could be gay, lesbian, or bisexual and not being honest about it. And, and they're making the rational choice by holding back and not uh, speaking about that. Yeah, somebody is plain all ad addicted and obsessed, okay? Someone does want a committed relationship. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. What is the advice for Taurus moving forward? What is the advice for Taurus moving forward? Grief work. I knew it was going to come out. Some of you need to heal. You need to go to therapist, psychotherapist, counselor, somebody, and do the work. You know, talk to somebody. They can help you unpack all of these issues. They can give you real world, you know, advice as to what to do in each situation. Or why are you acting like this? Or, But some of you need to, you know, go to a grief counselor or tarot card reader. I don't know. Someone that can help you realize what's going on with you. Um, why you're stuck. You know. You have sentimental feelings. Why you feel this way? Why are your your feelings not, you know, it could be unfounded or ungrounded or, I don't know, unfounded. Why can't you welcome the new? Why can't you do something new? Why are you stuck? It's like somebody's stuck. Adult children. I just heard that somebody acts just like that. An adult child. It's like failure to launch, to fly, to grow. It's just like... If I can stay in this, um, you know, this very immature, you know, place of running around and ripping and running and in and out and this relationship and that relationship, then I never have to grow up. Yeah, but you've got leaving. And this card specifically talks about leaving a toxic situation or mindset behind. Doing something new. You have welcomed the new. So it's like you, you need to talk to somebody about your situation. Why you... Why can't you just, you know, settle, settle down or move forward or welcome something new? And how can you leave this toxic situation behind? Can't make it up. How can you retire this? Um, you need to do some self-care. You really need to sit and talk to somebody because this needs to be the end of an era. You've done it long enough. You need to kind of come out of it. It's what the card's saying, but you can do whatever you want to do. Um, some of you need to talk to somebody about yeah, your emotions, your feelings, and how you express yourself. Some of you, you say things you don't mean. Um, you do things that 
you have to end up apologizing for. Um, oh, some of you just want to be more likable. You know that people don't like you. And it could be a feminine energy. And it's not that you're not likable. It's just more so your attitude is hard to handle. And that's not a cute thing. Maybe when you're 20 something, 18, but a 45 year old person talking about they're hard to handle. No, you're just rude. And, you, and you've got to grow up, you know, someday or not at all. It's your life. And I still love you. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Do know it's all of this could be vice versa. Um, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.